Hello everyone, this is Lobby Designs here, and um, I thought I would uh, bring you a um, another uh, tutorial series, but this time on effectors in Cinema 4D. So it isn't the uh, MoGraph effectors, it is just the plane effectors, which you will find under this uh, little kind of half circle with a donut thingy, and that is the bend one. Now I'll be doing all of these in order from left to right, um, uh, up to down, I guess. So I'll do bend, bold, shear, taper, twist, FFD. Now I'll be doing all these, um, and it'll be the same as the uh, real flow tutorials. And um, I'll just be showing you uh, everything that they do and, and what what's possible with them. So um, basically, I just have a sphere here, and to start off, we'll be doing bend. So this is the first one, um, and yeah. Now for all of these. You want to make the, uh, the the effector a child of your what you're going to be affecting. So that's basically, you can just play around with this however you want. You'll be able to do this with all of these. Um, maybe not with the uh, more, um, maybe not with the more advanced ones, but I mean, it depends on uh, what you want to do. So just make that a child of your sphere or whatever object you have. And then for, for this particular one, you want to drag your pink square up to your circle. You can put it here or wherever, but for now we'll just put it there, and you'll see why. Now, down here for the uh, the object kind of, uh, I guess this is nodes like in real flow, um, you can change the strength. So say we have the strength on uh, 0, if we just add a keyframe, then if we go to 90, and then add a strength of 100, and then add a keyframe, you'll see that when I play this, the object bends. So if we just delete all the keyframes just for this, and then we can just play around with it like manually. So in Ben, just hit zero. What's going on here? Alrighty. Um, well, yeah. So you can change the strength of it. So if you just keep pushing that up, it'll go into a circle. Then it'll kind of square off. And then you can do whatever with that. Um, well, it doesn't, well, I mean, you can play with it. You can change the angle, maybe 160 degrees. And then you can change the strength. And it'll kind of bend around sideways, and it might do some weird thing. Uh, you can uh, change the size. So if you change this to 500, which is the uh, length, and then maybe you want to drag that down. Then if you turn up the strength, it kind of brings it around a lot later. And the actual, because some of the object isn't affected, like the start, it um, kind of it, it does a bit of a more a weird thing. So you can change all these different. Uh, whoop, yeah, so well, actually, I didn't know you could do that, but I guess you can you can change this to whatever you want, like whatever settings you want, um, whatever you think might look good. Uh, um, it's a pretty simple effector. Um, I haven't actually uh, played around with any of these, uh, but we'll just see what this does. Uh, okay, so this will make it only affect what is inside the box, so where this purple line is. So if we drag this. Down, or maybe up actually, and if we turn the strength up, it only stretches his top half, so you might get like a weird angle or something like that. And then you can just change the angle or, or do whatever you want, and then change it. Um, and yeah, so that's basically all for this. Um, hope you like this uh, quick little tutorial, and I'll be bringing out um, a new episode every two days for this, and I'll be bringing out a new episode every two days, so on the off two days for the real flow stuff. So I will probably be bringing out a video every day. So just make sure you check my videos. Um, go just check what I have on my channel. Um, and so yeah, just enjoy. As always, remember to subscribe, like, favorite, check out my other series, check out my real flow tutorials, my Cinema 4D tutorials, and I'll see all you guys later. Enjoy.